What I will do in this video is lay down to you the theorems about functions that are continuous. There are classes of functions that are continuous. When we began talking about continuity, the image that I brought to your mind is the image of a graph that is unbroken. The graph uh, that you can sketch on a paper without lifting your pen from the paper. Okay? So that is basically how continuous functions look like in your rectangular coordinate system. Theorem 1.22 continuous functions. Polynomial functions are continuous for all real numbers. So I hope by now you can recognize that this is another way of writing the set of real numbers. So this is another class of continuous functions. Functions like y is equal to cosine of x, y is equal to sine of x, y is equal to b raised to x. This is your exponential function. Okay? So they are continuous for all real numbers. If n is odd, functions like this are continuous for all real numbers. But when n is even, it is continuous only when your x is greater than or equal to zero. Okay, you already know what it means. I, I will not go back to explaining why that is so. Theorem 1.23, operations on functions. So if you have two continuous functions at a particular point, let's say x is equal to a, so when you add those two functions, when x is equal to a, the result is continuous. If you were to do subtraction, when x is equal to a, the result of your function is also continuous. e to the x, okay, the function defined by f of x is equal to e to the x. And your sine function, sine of x, both of them are continuous. So their sum is another function. It is also continuous. Continuous for the set of real numbers. It's the same with this. This is a polynomial function, continuous everywhere. This is your exponential function, continuous everywhere. Their difference is continuous. The same with multiplication. The product of two continuous function functions is also continuous. So x squared is a polynomial function, e to the x is a, an exponential function, their product is also continuous. And the same with this. f over g, f divided by g. It is continuous when x is equal to a provided g of a is not equal to zero. For example, this is the quotient of two continuous functions. So they ought to be continuous, except when x is equal to 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2, so on and so forth. And you know why that is so? Because when x is equal to 3 pi over 2, sine of 3 pi over 2, okay, sine of 3 pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. And so what you have there is 1 plus negative 1 is equal to 0. So your function becomes undefined there. So you have to remove these values of x so that your function, the quotient, is still continuous. Composition of continuous functions. So if g is continuous at a, f is continuous at g of a, then f circle g of x, that is how we speak it, is equal to f of g of x is also continuous when x is equal to a. So for example, this is a composition of two functions. So this one is also continuous, okay? So let us write it how it came to be a composition of functions. So what you have here is g of x is equal to x squared, f of x is equal to, to e to the x. And so the function composition f circle g of x is equal to f of g of x. And g of x is equal to x squared. And so f of x squared is equal to e raised to x squared. 
So this function is continuous. In the set of real numbers, because it is a composition of two continuous functions. It's the same with this. Y is equal to sine of e to the x. e to the x is continuous. Sine of x is continuous. It's the same with this one, okay? The sum of two functions. The sum of two functions. And this one is again another function composition. So this one is also, you did many things to this function. You get its, uh, its quotient, okay? And so this one is a function composition, uh, the, the function e to the x, and the square root function, the square root of x. This is continuous when x is not equal to 0, pi, 2 pi, so on and so forth. And why so? Well, because sine of 0 is 0. Sine of pi is 0.